Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. Before starting the video, I will tell you, watch this video till the end to learn something new because this is very helpful. Let's start guys. As you know, RCC column is the important part of building. Means without RCC column, building structure can't be stand. And I saw many civil engineers and structural designers, they ignored the basic rules of column design. Even more engineers, they don't know what are the basic rules of column design. So today I will clear your concept. What are the top 10 basic rules of column design, which can help you before starting design of column. It can also help you on construction site or if you, uh, if you don't have any structural designer for your project. So this video can help you, I hope. So let's start guys. If this video is helpful for you, so must like this video. As you know guys, the topic is top 10 basic rules of column design. And the first one is, we have different shapes in RCC column. As you know, square column, rectangular column, but the main are three types. Square column, rectangular column, and circular column. So the first basic rule is try to choose square column. Try to choose square column. Why? What's the reason? As you know guys, this is square column right and this is a rectangular column okay so square column should be select if the load on the column is axial for the axial load when the load comes on the center of the column in this case okay so select it for axial load okay when the load comes or when the load is coming on the center of the column in that case select to choose square column now come to the square uh, rectangular column so when a, 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 this one is using for axial load okay but the square column is using for the eccentric load okay when the load comes on the any point of the column but not on the center if the center so you should select the square one if the load comes here or here or on this point but not at the center okay if it comes on the center then select the axial uh, for axial load we should select the square column but for eccentric load means on any point when the load comes on the column in that case we should select the square column uh, rectangular column sorry okay but the width of the the width of the rectangular column should be minimum of its length for example if the length is 12 inches so the width should be 9 inches but it should be not equal when the equal so that should be square column is you know okay 12 by 12 inch, inches are 9 by 9 are 18 by 18 inches etc so this is the first basic rule try to choose square column if you have eccentric load so in that case choose the rectangular column okay the second one guys spacing of lateral tie should be 100 to 200 millimeter in which case 100 to 200 mm as you know guys this is the longitudinal bar right so try to, to end lapping zone okay so guys to here and here this is called lapping zone okay so guys in lapping zone okay at the base and also at the top near with slab as you can see this this is slab okay so here the spacing should be this spacing it should be 100 mm at the top and also at the bottom it should be in 100 mm this space should be 100 mm but at the mid guys at this point okay after the lapping zone okay so here it should be maximum so in that case it should be 200 mm so therefore 
I have written here the second basic rule spacing of lateral ties should be 100 to 200 mm okay you can also keep 150 mm this at the mid but at the lapping zone it should be closely right now guys the third basic rule is concrete cover should be 25 to 40 mm how as you can see guys this is the top section of column okay so this is steel bar this is other steel bar this is the other one okay so guys from here from this center center of the steel to the exterior point it should be 40 mm 40 mm okay so after this steel bar from this not from the center okay it should not be less than 15 mm okay the concrete cover after the steel it should not be less than 15 mm try to do it 25 mm 25 mm from here at this point as you can see guys this it should be not less than 15 mm try to make it 25 mm but from the center to the exterior point it should be try to make it 40 millimeter right this is the other basic point now guys the fourth one is use minimum m20 grade concrete in rcc column don't use m15 grade of concrete that's why because when the load comes on the slab, so slab transfer the load to the column so therefore column is the main member for the load for structure load so therefore use minimum m20 grade concrete means one ratio 1.5 ratio 3 where one is cement and 1.5 is uh, sand and uh, 3 is aggregate or crush right use minimum m20 grade concrete for rcc column right minimum so it's depend on your structural design maybe you require their m m30 m25 but the minimum should be m20 grade concrete okay now guys come to the fifth basic rule longitudinal bars of uh, longitudinal bars should be bent same like dug leg as you can see guys here i here this one okay here these are longitudinal bars so the longitudinal bars at the bottom on the footing or on the foundation should be bent like dug leg with the and many students they have question sir what should be the distance of this it should not be less than 12 inches or use 16 d where d is die off longitudinal bars then you can get this length or this one right but it should be dug leg to support the structure load and transfer the load from column to the foundation or to the footing easily okay this is the other point five the other one is sixth one is use minimum four numbers longitudinal bars in square column also and rectangular column so in rectangular column and square column you should not use less than four numbers of longitudinal bars or main bars okay for example guys as you can see this is a rectangular column so here f and rectangular column you have one column uh, in this column one steel bar other so these are four numbers of steel bars okay so if you require six numbers okay so for example if you are using the extra bars so here we have one question the corners bars these okay the corner bar this one this one and this one its dia should be maximum compared to these bars these extra bars so means if you are using the corner dia of steel bar for example 16 mm so that should be 12 mm if you are using here for example but in many videos i've already discussed that use minimum 12 millimeter dia of steel bar in rcc column so if you are using here for example if you are using these bar 16 mm extra bars so the corner steel bar should be 20 mm means simple I want to tell you the corners bar the main bars should be maximum die of steel bar okay as i told you here now guys come to the seventh point 
top and bottom area of the column should be same for example as you can see this is rcc column okay right so this area the bottom area and the top area should be same for example if the top area is 300 mm the bottom area so the top should be also 300 mm okay it doesn't mean if the bottom is 300 mm so the top should be 200 mm no the top and bottom area of the column should be same as i told you here right okay guys the basic rules we have the eighth one use minimum 12 mm die of steel bar for longitudinal bars as i told you don't use 10 mm or 8 mm etc use minimum 12 mm die of steel bar in rcc column right the ninth one is guys minimum size of rcc column should not be less than 225 by 225 mm in square column okay so as you can see minimum minimum size of the column should not be less than 225 mm by 225 mm okay it should not be less than otherwise you will face the problem it cannot support the structure load so therefore be careful if you have end design less than 225 mm so you will select the 225 mm if you have end design for example 200 mm or 150 mm so you will select this one not your structural design according to the structure load but select this one right now guys the last one is uh, yes 225 by 225 mm with four numbers of 12 mm as i told you use minimum four numbers of steel bars but the die should be not less than 12 mm the last one is 5 m span is between two columns are quite safe many students they are asking different types of question but it doesn't mean that if the structure load is uh, more okay according to the design according to the structure load i recommend you 5 m span between two column uh, columns are quite safe but in the case of 12 mm die of steel bar use minimum m20 grade concrete and use try to use six numbers of steel bars but not four numbers of steel bars because sometime the structure load is heavy and it can cannot support the structure load so therefore the beam or the slab can make or maybe the column can make any deflection etc so therefore guys these are the top 10 basic rules for column design which i have discussed the front of you so therefore you should not forget this if you want to construct your building or if you don't know about the structural design so this design can help you for one or two story or three story for normal domestic building so if you have any question about this video so you can comments i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye and yes if you need civil engineering videos in urdu so subscribe engineer sami youtube channel or the link is in the description of this video goodbye